NTSB investigators believe it was an exploding fuel tank that took down TWA 800, but they still don't know what sparked the blast. We need to prove three things. The fuel was flammable. The explosion has to be powerful enough to rupture the tank. And finally, something created a spark to ignite the fuel. Let's start with the first one. Flammability. Jet fuel in its liquid form is not flammable, but when heated, the fuel starts to vaporize. When combined with oxygen already present in the tank, this vapor can become highly flammable. At the altitude where TWA 800 exploded, almost 14,000 feet, jet fuel needs to reach 96 degrees Fahrenheit before it can ignite. There's just one problem. The manufacturer said, well, it never gets that hot in there. According to Boeing, the fuel tanks housed inside the wings would never get hot enough for the fuel to vaporize. On the day of the fatal flight, the temperature at JFK Airport hit 87 degrees Fahrenheit, well below the flash point for jet fuel. The NTSB's theory may be wrong. Investigators examine the design schematics of the aircraft. An intriguing detail catches their attention. I remember learning that the placement of the air conditioning units were underneath the center tank. And those generate a fair amount of heat. They cool the aircraft, but the packs themselves get quite hot during that procedure. On TWA 800, the air conditioning units were working extra hard to keep the cabin cool on a hot evening. The air conditioning packs underneath the center wing fuel tank had been operating for, I believe, several hours prior to takeoff. Could heat from the units have boosted the temperature inside the tanks to a dangerously high level? There's only one way to find out. The only way we were going to determine the actual conditions inside the fuel tank was by performing a flight test. They decide to reproduce the exact conditions of the accident flight. All right, let's start it up. The same type of plane, the same fuel load, and most importantly, exactly the same air conditioning units. It's a risky undertaking filled with uncertainties. The test flight reaches the same altitude as TWA 800. Holy crow. The temperature readings are terrifying. These air conditioner packs were getting up to 350 degrees. 350 degrees is about what you turn your oven to to bake a chicken. This is off the charts. The temperature in the tank hits 127 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees above the flash point. OK, let's get back down to the ground. Investigators are now certain that the fuel in the tanks of TWA 800 did become flammable. 